Good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome to October the 28th, uh, 2022. I hope you are all good. I hope you are all doing very, very well in these up and down times. Um, and uh, I am sure that you are doing okay under the circumstances. Uh, welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by to just check out what is happening around us today uh, regarding the astrological influences, the energy surrounding us today and how we can use these energies to move forward in a, the smoothest and gentlest, gentlest way possible. So, for the 28th of October 2022, our moon is still in the zodiac sign of Sagittarius and uh, today with this Sagittarius moon you are really going to have to dig in your heels you guys and stick to your guns because the moon in Sagittarius will heighten this inner feeling of intensity and it might probably add a lot of personal pressure for you to succeed and to perform at your very best. So the name of the game right now is uh, going to feel to you as if your feelings are being on display for the whole world to see. I'm really getting this uh, energy of you feeling as if you have to speak your truth, you have to shine your light, you have to shine a stand in your truth regardless of uh, other people and how they might be feeling, how they might be viewing the world. So uh, you are going to have this chronic feeling of judgment from others uh, that seems to show up for you out of nowhere today. But like I said, uh, with these uh, energies, it's really important for you to dig in your heels and stick to your guns, stand in your truth, no matter what that, that might be. Um, don't allow uh, judgments from others to sway you or make you feel less than or inferior in any way at all, you guys. Um, Neptune uh, brings quite a fresh outlook for us today in the area of romance and partnerships. And uh, you could find that your romantic life or dating life could experience some quite steamy developments almost immediately today. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, there might also be some progress in your social life uh, starting from today. And it's just uh, important to be careful not to lose your head, right? So uh, this fresh energy coming from Neptune could also bring some influential connections as well as messages that might be popping out of the blue into your reality. So uh, just know that uh, somewhere in the mix, someone uh, has you on their mind and they are not going to give up very, very easily. Right, so for many of up uh, for us, uh, for many of us today, Neptune's energy uh, is going to create a, a obsessive quality that could be a little bit difficult to explain to others and uh, perhaps even to yourself. Right, so uh, soulmates and twin flame connections are uh, definitely getting this obsessive quality on a level that's quite deep and you might find yourself uh, very um, in this difficult energy uh, of trying to get certain people out of your mind and feeling 
quite powerless to successfully get these soulmates and twin flames out of your mind today. So that is because of the energy coming from Neptune for all of us. So these uh, things that we are going through are pretty tough transits and especially for those of us that is currently going through an emotional affair, especially if a third party is involved and it could really, really make it feel like utter and complete hell for you. It's important, you guys, if you are uh, struggling with this, an emotional affair or a, a partnership where a third party is involved, remember that this is the season in which everyone is being asked to step into their personal power. So if you are giving your energy to someone who doesn't reflect it back to you in balance and in equal measure, then you must know that this is not the right person for you. Remember, we're going through this restructuring of uh, relationships and connections. Uh, business, romantic, friendships, family relationships, it doesn't matter, relationships with your children, it doesn't matter what kind of relationship it is, it's being put under the spotlight at the moment so that we have the opportunity to decide, is this relationship uh, in alignment with the value that I believe I have, with the value that I bring to the table? And is this relationships give and take? Is it balanced out? And am I getting from this relationship what I should be getting in accordance to the energy that I am putting into this relationship? Remember, the universal law of balance is uh, kicking us in for us all today. I'm really feeling strongly. Today we are using a combination of the Animal Spirit Oracle as well as the tea leaf reading cards and I really like how our intuitive card reading is so very supportive of the astrological energies that are surrounding us today. So first out is the Dolphin Spirit card and Dolphin Spirit says this and that are true. So Dolphin Spirit here says to us that nothing is untrue and nothing is completely true. Uh, Everyone has their own truths, you guys. Everybody has their very own truth that they can feel or should be feeling in their physical bodies. And uh, you are being asked to stand in your truth while at the same time remembering others also have that same desire that you have to be standing in their truth. It doesn't mean that your truth is going to fit everyone around you and it also doesn't mean that other people's truths are going to be a good fit for you. The best advice here, oh my word, best advice is the wind chimes card and the wind chimes brings the message of peace and harmony. Peace and harmony, you guys. So, for peace and harmony today, for inner peace and harmony, it's so important for us all to remember that everybody's got their own specific truth. And really, there is not one specific truth in this reality that we are all sharing. We all live in our own reality that is colored by our experiences, our traumas, our perceptions, our beliefs. And it is not up to us to tell anybody around us that their truth sucks or is untrue. So the best way for you to ensure that you have peace and harmony for yourself today is to remember this one truth and that is that every single person out there has their own truth as well as the right to stand in that truth. So remember this today. 
both when uh, you are facing other people's truths or when you have to display your own truth through your feelings and you might re receive any kind of judgment. Just remember, they don't get it, they don't understand and let it be and walk away into your own peace and harmony with this very important understanding that this and that are true. Alright, next card out is the Crow Spirit. And Crow Spirit brings us the message to say, uh, co-create with Spirit. This is combined with the Ring card, you guys. And the Ring card says a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. So, uh, this is uh, your manifestations, the things that you have been aiming to co-create with Spirit, starting to land in your reality as from today. So, keep a lookout for new partnerships, right in accordance with your understanding of your own worth. You have been co-creating with Spirit and I feel like this card combination is giving us all the good news that our manifestations are going to start uh, crystallizing in our third dimensional reality as from today. So uh, exciting news over there for us. Some rewards coming in. Third card out is the Nightingale Spirit. And Nightingale comes with the message to say, love is truly all around us. No matter what your reality looks like right now, I'm truly getting the strong sense of things always happening for you, for your development, for your own growth and a forward movement. And it doesn't happen to you because we are all in partnership with spirit we came here not to come and play games but to grow and develop and to self-actualize so truly love is all around us right um together with this we are getting the big spirit and uh, it warns us against greed you guys um we are always aiming for more. We are always wanting more. Especially, you know, when it comes to material things. There is this little hungry ghost inside all of us. And let's just be honest about this. There is a little hungry ghost inside of us all. Who always wants better, wants more. Always chasing for the next step. But I'm feeling the message here with uh, the Nightingale spirit and a pig coming up uh, with that as a little warning is that instead of always chasing, chasing, chasing for better and higher and more, sometimes we can just let go of all of that and sit down and appreciate the love and the amazing things that are surrounding us right now, where we are in this very, very moment where there is no past and there is no future. So uh, truly important for us all today. And this comes back for me with the Sagittarius moon that's going to make you feel as if you are under pressure to succeed and to perform. Don't uh, fall into that trap today and continue putting yourself under that kind of pressure today, you guys. Uh, you don't have to succeed beyond all odds all the time and you don't have to perform at a thousand percent or a thousand miles per hour all the time you can sometimes just eat the pause button sit down and appreciate those beautiful things that are currently surrounding you right now i'm sure that you guys can understand the message here with Nightingale and pick. Uh, next up and last cards, Vulture Spirit. Vulture Spirit comes in to say that nothing is wasted. No experience that you have ever, ever had has been a waste. And night, uh, a Vulture Spirit is joined by the Frying Pan card, which talks about trouble and 
accusations and together these two really bring me the message you know even situations that feel like trouble that feel like conflict that might feel like arguments that might feel as if you are being accused and judged even those experiences are precious precious experiences that is happening for us and our growth sometimes other people's judgment and accusations can be a mirror or a magnifying glass for us to look at ourselves very closely and to make sure whether we are happy with our own performance and our own behaviors and internal motivations and thoughts and if you're happy with that throw out those accusations and judgments right you don't have to place yourself under pressure and under those judgments on the other hand you know um, other people's accusations and judgments might just be that little push from the universe to see whether we believe in our truth strong enough in order to stand up regardless of any accusations or judgments that we might be receiving. So here, Vulture Spirit comes to tell us that even if we might find ourselves in troublesome situations where accusations and judgments are flying around, even those situations are happening for our own growth and self-realization. So uh, nothing is ever wasted. No experience should ever not have happened if you had that experience. It's always uh, there to build us up and move us forward, you guys. So whatever you may be facing today in your day, please remember it is set up for you, by you, um, and for your benefit so do believe in that and in that way you can truly tackle every single challenge that might pop up in your reality like a boss because uh, nothing will be able to knock you off of your little throne you see and not even accusations or judgments if you can take every single experience and use it as a tool to further yourself and your own growth and to help you see the beautiful things in your life and appreciate what you have now um, things can only move forward at a very rapid pace uh, you guys i love you like no words can ever ever say i appreciate your interactions through liking this video sharing your thoughts and feelings in the comments speaking your truth let's hear it you guys today put yourself out there shine your light speak your truth and let no one uh, judge you and uh, allow you to hide your light today also please subscribe to the channel and press that like button and the little bell so that you can be notified of every single new video that i do upload for you guys all my love as usual